like when I have to play a new song for her or something, I'm like nervous and shy and I want her to love it and I, everything I do, I want her approval and I want her to be proud of me. So yeah, it, it is kind of like bringing out your inner child. Cool. Okay, so you mentioned just before like your mom coming to an understanding and seeing it for love. And for me, as a younger man, I'm, I'm cultivating my own belief. What do I believe? How do I see God in the Bible and religion? And what do I base my morals on? Mm -hmm. For you guys, as young adults exploring your sexuality, was it difficult um, having to cultivate your own belief based on who, who you are naturally, even though it's not what uh, our family members agree with? Supposed to be, I think it'll, it'll be fine. Because again, this is my fourth child. Absolutely. I, I, to that point, I want to say, like, watching the show, I, I, you can definitely pick up on how much you guys love each other. There's, like, this baby voice you guys talk to each other with. It's the <laughs> cutest thing. Um, but... And, and look, people either love it or they hate it. Yeah. Yeah. One or the other. They either love yeah. it or they hate they it. They do. And I don't know, she started that. I think... Yeah, she started there. Because that's how you make me feel. <laughs> you make me feel like, beautiful. you want me to get you to So, would you say you guys, like, speak to your inner child, maybe? Maybe so. Yeah. I just think it's just a love thing. Yeah, she makes me feel uh, but butterflies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't do that. Okay. Judy, I mean, it's interesting because they always tell you someone can't make you happy. You have to make yourself happy. Mm -hmm. And on the Brad's journey, she found a way to make herself happy, but then you completed that wheel for her. When you look back now as newlyweds, that you tied the knot. You didn't mm. just come out. You came out and then got married. How does it feel for you? Um, it's it's exhilarating. It's um, I tell her often about um, even a coming out journey. I, we we discussed a lot on it, and I said often, you know, I know I'm inspiration to you, but make sure that you're not doing this for me. Oh. Do not do this for me. Why do you, you say know? that to her? Because I feel like as human beings. I, like people can regret something if they've done it for someone else versus them doing it for themselves. So once we came to um, an agreement that this was for her and that she was, you know, she was ready and it was it was from being inspired by. And it just it has so much speed, though, and you can adjust the controls of acceleration and stuff. She turned it all the way up high. She hit the gas and we just jerk and jerk because she drives super fast. That thing needs a seatbelt. <laughs> I've been on golf carts, Judy. You seem like you're going way faster than the golf carts be going on the course. She taught me how to drive like that. Uh, <laughs> she, 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 she turns them all the way up, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, it's going so fast. So to put them kind of in the middle, baby, a little no, bit. No, you go to the max See? with everything, right? See? And See? life. Yeah, take it to the limit in life. Take it to the max. Yeah, yep. you saw me almost fly off the golf cart on the show, okay? That's why <laughs> yeah, you quick <laughs> you need a seatbelt brat yeah and brat i love Gosh. seeing you boot up i love seeing the love on display should i get my tuxedo ready uh because i'm sensing a proposal coming soon is that gonna <laughs> happen because well, i can't wait for a brat judy wedding that's gonna be great well i need you to tune into the show tomorrow at <laughs> 9 8 central we all TV, right. you go, you're going to find you out find all out. the questions, all the questions, all the answers to your questions. Nobody's asked this question oh, of Judy and Brad. <laughs> oh. And it was balloons everywhere. It was like 10,000 balloons. And I had like four packages. These these are my gifts that I have on. I had four oh. like Louis Vuitton packages, Louis Vuitton luggage. We had a chef. We had like 20 courses for two people. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had a violinist. A violinist. Yeah, and oh my gosh. And yeah. I got a, a two hour massage. It was amazing. And you just, and were crying. Crying. Boo <laughs> and Sherry. I'm such a sucker these days. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm very vulnerable, honey. And I just can't do anything about it. It's so, it, it's, and I, I love seeing it because y'all both cry Ooh, when, when you do stuff. ugly so. cry too. <laughs> And I love this because marriage is not your only collaboration. You guys collaborate on Brat Loves Judy, your reality show, which yes. I watch all Thank the time. You. <laughs> so congratulations. Thank you. Because this is not one season, not two seasons, but the woo, third woo, season. Woo, woo. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now in the third season. I thought I saw it all. What can we expect on the third season, y'all? No, just, oh, just I, I guess more transparency. You get to kind of see our journey with um, family, yeah, uh, family moving in, um, yeah. But when I'm watching y'all, I but 
Yeah, now you get the family moving in. It was you. Hollywood strikes again, and the drama this time, it's all about Brat and Judy. I'm the Brat, the first female rapper to ever sell a million records. I'm out the closet, living out loud with my baby, doing whatever the I want to do because I love you. Yes, the power couple everyone's been talking about. Rumors are spreading like wildfire that their marriage is headed for a breakdown. And the whispers are saying it's because Judy, also known as Cece, has stepped out on Brat for another man. Can you believe it? Reports claim that Brat is shattered, completely heartbroken over this betrayal. And now fans are starting to question the foundation of their relationship. Was this love or was Judy in it for something else? <laughs> People are buzzing that Judy may have only stayed with Brat for financial gain. It's all starting to sound suspicious, especially with new whispers about Brat hitting a rough patch financially. Some sources even say, Judy's only motive was money. And now, with Brat struggling, she's ready to walk away. Could it be that Judy was always planning her exit when the cash started drying up? Fans are left wondering if this relationship was ever real, or if Brat was just another target in a string of schemes. And the mess doesn't stop there. Judy's got a cloud of drama hanging over her. Did you know a tragic accident happened at her home where a child tragically drowned in her pool? The rumor mill has it that Judy wasn't exactly comforting afterward. In fact, some say she tried to dodge responsibility. And if that wasn't enough, there are whispers connecting Judy to some shady arson cases. She's even been accused of abandoning someone named Duplo James. With all this swirling around, people are starting to ask, was Brat just another victim of Judy's manipulations? How could Brat have ignored all these warning signs? It's wild, but some are saying Brat might have been blinded by love, or worse, that Judy orchestrated the whole thing. They first crossed paths at a Kaleidoscope event in 2017, and by 2020, Brat was going public with their relationship. In February 2022, they tied the knot in a lavish ceremony, pulling out all the stops with horse-drawn carriages and over-the-top flair. The event was a media frenzy, with stars in attendance and even Brat's mentor, Germaine Dupree, walking her down the aisle. Everyone thought it was a match made in heaven, especially when they announced in early 2023 that they were expecting a baby together using IVF and Judy's egg. But now, just months after their son was born, cracks are starting to show. Fans have noticed tension in recent videos, and it's leading to even more speculation. Did Judy ever really love Brat? Or was this relationship just another way to boost her own fame and business? It's hard not to think that Judy, already a successful businesswoman with Kaleidoscope, saw Brat as a ticket to even more publicity. Could she have been using the relationship to grow her empire only to check out once she got what she needed? People are starting to connect the dots, and it's looking like this fairy tale might have been built on shaky ground. Whatever the truth is, one thing is clear. There's a whole lot more going on behind closed doors than anyone anticipated. The tension between Brat and Judy is undeniable, and it's only a matter of time before all the details come to light. Will their relationship survive this turmoil? Or are we witnessing the beginning of a very public downfall? Judy's rise to fame didn't start with Brat, though. According to her brand's website, Judy has been passionate about hair since she was a kid. She used to style her dad's hair before moving onto Freyans, quickly becoming known for having the freshest, trendiest looks in her neighborhood. Her talent was undeniable, and after finishing high school, she earned her cosmetology license. But Judy wasn't content just working for someone else. Oh no, she had bigger dreams. She eventually owned her own salon in New Orleans. By 2013, she opened Kaleidoscope Hair Studio and that spot became the foundation for her iconic line of hair products. What's wild is that Judy's empire didn't blow up overnight. She built her brand through word of mouth at first. Talk about hustle. Her products slowly gained a loyal customer base, and soon she was making waves in the beauty industry. By 2017, Judy decided to hang up her stylist gloves and focus entirely on her business, and it paid off big time. Kaleidoscope hair products became a multi-million dollar enterprise, and her products can be found in Walmart and Sally Beauty, some of the biggest retailers in the country. But that's not all. Judy isn't just a boss in the beauty game, she's a best-selling author too. Love beauty. <laughs>
I'm Jessica Dupart. A lot of people know me as Judy. I am the owner of Salatoscope Hair Products. To date, the company's probably made close to 40 million. Also, Bird Kaleidoscope Realty, Kaleidoscope Management, Kaleidoscope Cares, Kaleidoscope Distributor Receiving. Yeah, all of that. In 2019, she dropped a book titled When the Miracle Drops, where she spilled all the tea about how social media helped her turn a quick fix into a million dollar business. She's got over 3 million Instagram followers, and that fan base played a role in her decision to publicly come out with Brat. Contrary to the rumors, Judy was already stacking cash before Brat came into the picture. But people still believe she used her relationship with Brat to gain more clout, considering how much attention their relationship brought her brand. Now, here's where it gets messy. Allegedly, let's stress, allegedly, Judy got tired of playing the happy wife and was stepping out on Brat with another man. That's right, the streets are buzzing that Brat discovered the infidelity and it's left her absolutely wrecked. Not just about the cheating, but it's made her question her faith in same-sex relationships altogether. Can you imagine how deep that cuts? Some sources are even suggesting that Brat's comments are sparking real debates in the LGBTQ community about the impact of these betrayals on public perceptions of lesbian relationships. If the rumors are true, Brat is seriously considering divorce. But here's another twist. There's talk that the couple might not even be legally married. Some insiders suggest that due to Brat's past legal issues, the couple's wedding was more symbolic than official. So how can Brat file for divorce if they were never legally hitched? It's a question that's got everyone scratching their heads. And if that wasn't complicated enough, Brat is reportedly gunning for full custody of their son, True. Now, True was conceived via IVF with Judy's egg and a sperm donor which makes this custody battle even messier. Since Judy is the biological mother, she might argue that Brat was more of a surrogate, which could lead to a fierce legal fight. Imagine the emotional toll this could take. Brat raising a child that might be biologically tied to Judy, but fought over in the courtroom. Some fans believe Brat has a fighting chance to win custody of True, due to Judy's alleged lack of involvement in motherhood. People are already talking about how Judy has three other children and has barely been present in their lives. This has fueled rumors that she isn't that invested in raising True either, with Brat stepping up as the more involved parent. Her supporters think this could give her the edge in a custody battle. Now, Judy's commitment to motherhood is being called into question, and it's not looking good for her. But there's another layer to this already messy situation. Judy is reportedly the one bringing in most of the money. While there's no solid proof that Brat is broke, word on the street is that Judy's been the one paying the bills, funding the lavish vacations, and even supporting Brat's mom. Some sources suggest Judy might be tired of being the primary provider. She's constantly shelling out for expensive gifts and those luxury trips they show off all over social media. Get out of here, that is so pack your bag, where we going? Oh my God. <laughs> Could this financial burden have been weighing on Judy to the point where it started driving a wedge between them? And let's not forget the growing whispers that Judy may have been playing along with this relationship for appearances. Critics are quick to point out her history of shady behavior, starting with that tragic drowning incident at her pool. Many accused her of dodging responsibility when a child lost their life, leaving the grieving mother hanging without any compensation. That event, coupled with multiple other accusations over the years, has people doubting whether Judy ever had pure intentions with Brat. When you dig into Judy's past, more skeletons start falling out of the closet. Some fans believe she's been running scams for years, manipulating people to get what she wants. There's even talk that one of her exes went to prison for a scam Judy was allegedly involved in. But when that ex tried to write a tell-all book, Judy supposedly bought up all the copies to keep her dirty secrets from being exposed. People are now wondering, was Brat just another pawn in Judy's long game? 
Do you remember little James, that adorable boy who became an internet sensation for his hilarious videos around the age of six or seven? Well, Judy reached out to his family, just like she's done with other kids, to use their fame to push her products. But when things didn't go the way she wanted, Judy reportedly turned on James. She supposedly told him he wasn't funny anymore, leaving the poor kid feeling like a failure. To make matters worse, Judy locked James into a terrible contract, draining the money he earned into her own pocket. Cold, right? <laughs> and if that's not enough to make you side-eye her, there's more. Judy's name has also been tied to two suspicious arson cases involving her salons. Both resulted in hefty insurance, payouts, add to the already sketchy view people have of her. These incidents have caused even more people to question her motives and intentions. When you stack all this drama together, it's no wonder fans are saying Judy's relationship with Brat was just another long con. But let's not act like Brat is squeaky clean either. We all remember her legal troubles from back in the day. Brat got into it with a cheerleader for the Atlanta Falcons at Jermaine Dupree's club, Studio 72, where she assaulted the woman with a rum bottle. That landed Brat three years in prison, seven years on probation, and 200 hours of community service. She had to attend substance abuse treatment, undergo a mental health evaluation, and take anger management classes after that wild night. The victim, Shayla, claimed that she was trying to leave the club when Brat suddenly attacked her. She alleged that Jermaine Dupree and his security team failed to stop Brat or even offer her medical attention, likely because they wanted to avoid any negative press for Studio 72. And this decision might have left Shayla without help during a critical moment. Shayla's injuries were serious. She suffered brain damage, deep cuts, and permanent scars that put an end to her career as a cheerleader and actress. These injuries didn't just change her life physically, they came with a massive financial blow too. The initial settlement Brat was ordered to pay Shayla was $6.4 million, but reports indicate the amount has grown to a staggering $8 million, and Brat still hasn't paid it. T, that's not the only time Brat found herself in legal trouble. In another shocking incident, she was arrested after getting into a heated altercation with a woman over VIP seating at a Georgia nightclub. In that fight, Brat allegedly struck the woman on the head with a bottle, causing her to need six stitches. The following year, Brat pleaded guilty to reckless conduct. Though this case was less severe, she was sentenced to probation, fined, and ordered to complete community service. Now, Brat has her own issues, no doubt. But when you put her past next to Judy's alleged behavior, Judy seems to have even more skeletons in her closet. Could it be that their unresolved drama piled up over time, leading to the strain on their relationship? And let's not forget the most jaw-dropping rumor. Judy allegedly cheating on Brat with a man. That's definitely got people talking. Could this have been the final straw that pushed Brat to consider walking away? Or was the marriage doomed from the start, built on shaky ground and ulterior motives? Some fans are convinced Judy was never in it for love, but for fame and fortune, while others think Brat's legal issues and temper may have played a role in their downfall too. So what do you think? Did you ever believe this relationship was built to last? Or did you see these cracks coming from the start? And with Brat reportedly filing for divorce and seeking custody of their son, True, where do you think things will go from here? It's definitely a lot to unpack. And if you're a fan of deep dives into the latest Hollywood drama, or you've been following this saga closely, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more updates. You know things are just heating up and there's bound to be more twists to come. Share your thoughts in the comments and let's keep the conversation going.